the babysitter. I'm a terrible writer, so please bear with me. I'm just here to see what the people of Reddit think of this situation. I was pretty hesitant to post this in the first place. A little boring backstory. My mother had me at the young age of 19 and was very proactive to ensure that she gave me the best upbringing possible. So, she worked her ass off, had her own apartment, her own car, paid bills on time, and catered to every need I had as an infant until I had to fly the coop. She's pretty amazing and so is my family. Both my father and mother's side of the family were there whenever my mom needed someone to watch me, when she had to go to work, but sometimes not all schedules aligned and had to resort to hiring babysitters. I was told that she posted some flyers in popular places and cafes to get a larger audience in hopes of someone contacting her. And to her surprise, she received some feedback and hired a wonderful girl named Rachel. Sounds pretty casual and anticlimactic to some, including myself. I always ask how I was as a child. Some funny stories, memorable moments, etc. I don't know why, I'm just that type of person who loves detail and will ask questions to grasp emotions and depth to any story, especially those I'm interested in. But to my surprise, I found out that the process of finding a babysitter was much more difficult and unsettling, to say the least. I didn't find this out until I was in high school, three years ago when I was in my junior year after a volleyball game I was in. My mother and I were laughing about something when we were leaving the school doors and out to her car to head home for the night when a lady stopped us. Now, I've seen this lady around my school, usually after hours, to clean and take out the trash. She was a janitor and I never really thought about her deeply before until she stopped us that night. It was evident that she had special needs, and I don't mean that in any bad or degrading way. It was clear that she was excited to see me, and it was also clear that my mother was uneasy when she put her arm around my waist. I know you. I used to babysit you when you were younger. Just a wee baby. I used to see you a couple times a month. We were practically best friends. She even mentioned my name. To my knowledge, I had no idea who this woman was, at least personally. Immediately confused and before I could say another word, my mom pushed me out the door and hastily walked to her car. She didn't say a word the whole ride home and I didn't ask any questions. A few days pass and I brought up the situation to my mom randomly. I could tell she was disturbed at the thought of it, but she ended up sitting me down and telling me the story of when she was looking to hire someone to babysit me. The lady I had met at school that night had contacted my mom regarding her flyer. I guess they went to the same school, which happens to be the school I went to, and since we live in a very small and rural town, she knew where my mother had lived. When my mom respectfully declined, the lady got obsessive with her and I. She would call my mom every day, visit her at work, and even wait outside her house to try to change her mind on hiring her. She would even write letters to my mom and stick them in the mailbox. It got to the point when one day, my mom woke up from a nap to her sitting on the floor in the living room and playing with me as I laughed with glee. She stopped her story there. I assume that she either moved, had a restraining order, or called the cops. Maybe all three. But it really shook her up and I think anyone can understand why. We don't know how she got in the house or how long she knew how to get in, or even how long she'd been entering the house. 
All I know is that after that night, she stared at me while I had volleyball practice. Ever since I graduated high school, I haven't seen her. So, lady, whoever you are, let's not meet. Pushy grandma really wants my sister and I to get in her truck. I've never posted on here before. Hopefully everything is correct and I'm not breaking any rules. I'm not terribly good with telling stories about things that happen in my day-to-day -day life. I tend to keep to myself. This particular story has really affected how I live my life currently, however I was too scared to bring it up when I was younger. I live in a medium sized southern town of about 45,000 people. I know all of my neighbors and the people who go to the Kingdom Hall of the Jehovah's Witness three doors down. I happen to live on the last street within city limits and it's a pretty elderly and quiet area. The layout of the street is unique as well as making a T-shape towards the end of the main road. The left side of the T-road has the JW's church, and the right side leads to a road leading to town. At the end of this road is a small gravel driveway that leads to underbrush and a couple of abandoned houses. My youngest sister, Seven, and I, Twelve, had decided to take a walk one afternoon through the neighborhood. As we made our way to the stop sign at the end of the T-shaped road, an older woman well into her 60s and possibly early 70s rolls out of the dirt driveway in front of us. I had an odd feeling about this woman. She certainly didn't live in the neighborhood. My brotherly instincts kick in and I force my youngest sister despite her protest, to turn around and start marching back home, with me following close behind. The old woman slowly rides behind before finally driving parallel next to us. She rolls down her window and asks directions to some local store or whatnot. I can't really remember where, and I tell her the basic directions. She then proceeds to insist on my sister and I hopping in her truck so she can take us home. I politely tell her, No, we're on a walk. She doesn't take no for an answer and proceeds to tell us that she is a friend of my grandmother's, to which my sister abruptly blurts out, You know Mama Phyllis? She says, Of course I know her. Yes, Phyllis. We're good friends. Get in the truck. I politely decline again and insist that we really would like to continue our walk. I force my sister to walk lock and step at a pace I know she can barely handle. The old woman begins to yell out her window at us. Get in the damn truck. Adding threats that if we don't, she'll be sure to tell our grandmother how we disobeyed an adult and that we were awful children. As we finally get to the driveway, both my sister and I run as quickly as we can down the driveway and to the front porch, bursting back into the house. My grandmother asks us how our walk was. We lie and say we had a race and that was about it, and we never talked about it again. I actually don't believe my sister remembers the incident, in all honesty. I've never seen that woman or that truck in my neighborhood since that incident, and believe for a fact that my sister and I wouldn't be living if we had jumped into her truck. Anyway, I really am bad at telling life stories and hopefully this is comprehensible, but even if it isn't, it's good to get that incident off my chest.